Welcome back. This is your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, my co pilot is here with me. Today, we're watching a movie from the Murder Whistle status. Today, we're watching the movie um, Blow. Things I know about Blow is starring Johnny Depp and that Booger Sugar. After that, I know nothing else about it. So, I'm really looking forward to watching it because this is one of my cousin's favorite movies. Like, he loves it. And I'm a Johnny Depp fan. Just in general. You know what I'm saying? I like Johnny Depp. I'm trying to even guess what this movie is about. But, like, Johnny Depp and cocaine. I'm expecting some wild stuff. So, <laughs> so I'm look, I'm really looking forward to getting to it. So, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. With that being said, I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. I just be doing stuff so they look at me. They be staring at me. Look, look at, look at him. He's judging me. Look at Drogo judging me. Why he judging me, bud? He judging me like I don't feed him all the time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shut the f up! Is that based on a true story? Is this Guitar Hero or um, um, Rock Band? Which one was this? Oh, they making that way. Hey, man. Hey, man, that is a lot of booger sugar. Go get him, Dooley. Shut the f*** up. My name is George Young, federal inmate number 19225004. Oh, he didn't got caught. That's me, and that's my best friend, Tuna. Fucking Tuna. Fucking Tuna. My dad ran a plumbing and heating company. He was my hero. Did you do it? Shut the f*** up. I know Ray Liotta was in this. Business got slow and we were broke. You touch me! He's not in front of the oh, boy. The boy, the boy. Boy, what about me, Fred? What about me, huh? Oh, shit, gold diggers. Mom, where are you going? Oh, she ain't. No matter how many times my mother would leave, no matter how many times she embarrassed him. What did he mean, how many times my mother would leave? He always took her back. What What do he mean? God, he loved her. Oh, this bitch left on Christmas? Oh, your mama ain't, bro. Hi, you, George. You. Come on, give me a hug. You doing right, that bitch. Come on, Georgie. Come to mommy. That mommy died a long time ago. I appreciate you letting me use your birth canal, but other than that, you. How you gonna leave your baby on Christmas? I moved to California in the summer of 1968 with the tuna. We got a small one-bedroom apartment right on the beach. Wasn't much, but it had its perks. Are you scared of girls? George. You need some help? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I do. They use words like right on, groovy, solid. My man at the beach with a button up on. And everyone is getting stoned. You know Johnny Depp was showing up to work high as hell already. Shotgun, shotgun. Check this out. Oregano. He bought a bag full of shake. If we move all that, we got like, like a hundred bucks. Get ripped off, pal. Look, if you really want to score some dope, I got the guy. Why would he buy a bag full of shake? The guy was Derek for real. He owned the first male hair salon in all of Southern California. Barbie! Shut the fuck up! They got Pee Wee Herman in this bitch! Shut the fuck up! I hope he hit the dance up. All right, everybody, shoe. Come on, chop, chop. Give us a few minutes. Now, what can I do for you guys? Oh, he switched that up nicely, didn't he? You know, it's a good thing you're friends with Barbies, because if you weren't, I would never talk to you. 
That's a lot of wheat. That's more than we had in mind. I don't nickel and dime. You want it or not? We'll take it. You know what? And it makes sense that Pee Wee Herman will be the plug. Tuna and I became the kings of Manhattan Beach. The bills were paid and I was making way more money than I could at a real job. They get a lifeguard's hard. Like, what? what? If the life guy, if the lifeguards is high, who gonna save people? Holy <laughs> shit, Dooley! What are you doing out here? On vacation, man. Just don't. Hey, man, that man hurt. He hurt. Man, I wish there was stuff like this back at home. You know how much money you can make with this stuff back east? Yeah. No shit, Kev. What? My man was like, what? What you talking about? Do you know how many colleges there are within a 60 mile radius? UMass, Amherst, BU. Damn! I know I'm about to sound like an idiot. I don't care though. I never even thought UMass was in Boston, like in Massachusetts. I never even thought about that. I don't know why I thought it was in Alabama. Shut up. Don't judge me. I want you to be my partner on this thing, Derek. 50 50. If you do the math, that's over 30 grand a week profit. What year is this? I don't know. I'm paranoid. It seems really risky. Eric, she's a stewardess. They don't check her bags. Oh, yeah. Hey, we about to move this weight. Oh, yeah. They ain't checking bags? Kevin. More. I need more. Is that need more? I need more. What do you want me to do? You tell George, right? He'll think of something. I will. Good. Oh, These motherfuckers travel cost the week. One hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! Shut the f up. It's not enough. What? We're doing all the legwork, and at the end of the day, we're still paying retail. Where do we start? I mean, he take it right. Either one of you guys speak Spanish. No, sir. A como a marijuana. Okay. You <laughs> okay? El weed. Do you know where we can find some marijuana? We're looking for marijuana. And he asked the baby. Hey, George. Hola, hola. I'll be back. Okay. Mota. He just meeting strangers in places. This is how you end up on the TV show. Talk about bodies was found right here. Hola. Hola. George, mucho gusto. Ramon tells me you're looking for some mota. I'm looking for that. Oh, boy. I'm trying to get some of that Willie Nelson. Yeah, that'll do it. I'll take it. Really? How much will you be needing? All of it. Yeah, I'll come back in a week with a plan. Oh, he tripping. They still in place. Let's go. Tuna. Okay, I'm about to say, is he gonna fit in that boy? I'm blowing up my old man a million times, okay? It's not the uh it's not the taking off part you gotta worry about, it's the landing. Okay. He said it like he went too confident. Hey Pat, are you in a gringo? Oh, I'm whooping his ass when we got this plane. Oh, I'll that clap and on my back so I'll whoop his ass. Got the plane bouncing. <laughs> they really still a plane. George! Merry Christmas, Derek. Oh. <gasps> it's beautiful. They got duffel bag full of weed. So pretty. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, they didn't move to Mexico now? So, I thought this was a cocaine movie. I can't get over the size of that ring. I just love it. I'm just happy that George has found somebody he cares for. I don't know. Yes, it's definitely two carrots. Treasure it, darling. George, you might want to get that insured. Can't stand his mama. The boy's happy, Fred. Don't be such a killjoy. Oh, Jesus. Babe, put your head back. Uh, put your head back. Put your head back. Uh, why, Barbara? Why her nose start bleeding like that? What a lovely girl. Is that all hundreds? Yeah. 
Hey, he mad, but he was he put that shit straight in his pocket though. What if I didn't go to Chicago with you? No, not if you don't. If you don't wanna. Is she sick? Hurry before they come out. Shut the f up. You stand accused of 660 pounds of marijuana with intent to distribute. How do you plead? 660 pounds? How do you? In all honesty, I don't feel that what I've done is a crime. 660 pounds, bro. You weren't moving no little shit. Gosh, you know, your concepts are really interesting, Mr. Young. She about to lock him up for life. The movie over. Your bail is $20,000. I got that in my sock. Hold on, give me a second. 20000 Let me bail a couple other people out. I got that. Hold on, let me pull it out my huggies. The lawyer says he can uh, plead it down to five years. I'll serve two. Two years? George, I can't wait that long. She's sick, ain't she? What, are you kidding me? You're not going to wait for me. What the fuck is that? I don't have two years. Shut the f*** up. I was wondering why her nose was bleeding. Because I knew they had that on coat. Hey man, that's sad as f I mean, at least she didn't die when he was in jail. The old gang broke up. I had skipped bail in Chicago to take care of Barbara and was now a fugitive on the run. Shut the f up. Hi, Ma. So he don't speak to his boy no more? He a fugitive now? Surprised to see me. She don't look happy at all. I want you to know I'm, I'm deeply sorry about your girlfriend. Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. I can't believe this man lost his girl, man. Did you be getting the money I sent you? What, you mean the drug money? Yeah, I got it. But yeah, you gotta do that. He better than me. I want to send the I don't give a f my mama not, bro. She, she left me multiple times. Once on Christmas. I'm not sitting there. Georgie, how are you? Now, me and Pops, we cool. I'm great at what I do, Dad. I mean, I'm really great at what I do. Doc! Damn! George! Shut the f up. Ah! Did they follow him? I had no choice. You f your bitch! Don't look at me like that. Let's go. What is in our Shut house? Up. Shut up! What, was I supposed to be an accomplice? Oh, you f your bitch! Everyone knows you're a drug dealer, it's no secret! That, that's what you get for caring about this hassle. Straighten your life out! And that's, that's what you get for caring about that heifer. This is your mama that left you. Mothers don't leave their children. Close cell number three. Mama will call the cops on What kind of mother bullshit is that? Hello. My name is Diego Delgado. How do you do? Shut the f up. It's Johnny Tapia. I, Johnny Tapia. I was arrested in Chicago with 660 pounds of grass. I think that qualifies me. Look, 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 he's like, what? Going go on a single engine Cessna. So we got a deal of 660 pounds of weed. That's just crazy. George, what do you know about cocaine? This is how we get to the cocaine. Danbury wasn't a prison anymore. It was a crime school. I went in with a bachelor of marijuana, came out with a doctorate of cocaine. Shut the f up. The conditions of my parole were that I had to live at my parents' house. I would no, hell no. Oh, he probably got to. You need to calm down here. Everybody meets everybody. I'm on fucking parole. I can't leave the state. You'll be back before they know you're gone. I just I just got released five minutes George. ago. Right here in Boston, bro. That's a long way from Mexico. Oh, no. 
Apparently not. You know your mama a snitch. Why are you there? And then I charge six hundred thousand dollars worth of coke to someone I don't know. It's fifteen fucking kilos. I piss fifteen kilos. Hey, hey. hey man, my man said I piss fifteen kilos. Like it ain't. But just remember, Mr. Young, I will be with you the whole way, and I will be watching. I'm just saying, bro. You know who you talk to. I'm Boston George. I slap the fuck out you. You don't know me. Look at them sideburns. Yeah, and these? Old habits, you know. Hard to break. <laughs> Why are you judging me? I might like to wear them. You don't know? Don't judge me, homie. George, come here. I need to talk to you. George. George! Yeah, yeah. What? What? George, come here, come here, come here. He got her locked in the bathroom. Need a favor from you. The favor was to pick up 50 kilos of cocaine. That's 110 pounds. Not exactly a small favor. Why do, why, why do I gotta go do that? I didn't have anything better to do that day. Not like I was on parole or anything. Oh, he is on parole. What are you doing? Where's Diego? I don't know. He sent me. I'm George. George? Well, that explains everything. Oh, Diego to set him up? Open your mouth, George. We gotta kill Diego? Get fucked. Open your fucking mouth. Ah. Uh... I've been holding 50 keys for Diego for three weeks. You tell him I want my money by Friday. Can you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. We're killing him, too. As soon as I get my money, I'm putting a hit on him. Hello? Uh, hello, may I speak to George, please? No fucking bitch. George, you have a phone call. Okay, Ma. Don't call her, your Ma. Call her by her first name. Boy, I sure would like to see you. Uh, you know, George, it's a little bit hard to get away right now. <laughs> I just thought him with the chair. What I'm doing here is measuring the purity. Quality product? Well, that starts uh, melting at around 140. 150? Hey, he looks like 180. 100. 187. Oh, they got that goat, ooey. Where did you get this stuff? They got the championship level of the book of sugar. Oh, do you mind if I do a line? Yeah, go ahead. Come on, man, let's, let's do one. Come on. Fuck it, let's all do one. I can't do that shit, man. I don't see you in two years and you show up at my fucking door with 110 pounds of blow. I mean, thank you. That's what you're supposed to say. Thank you. I can't feel my face. I mean, I can touch it, but I can't feel it inside. I can't feel my face. 36 hours. I don't believe we got rid of it in 36 hours. Shut the f up. It's going to take us longer to count it than it did to sell it. How do you get rid of... How do you do that? 1.35 million. Any place in particular you'd like to count? On the plane. What we'll fucking plane? <laughs> Why am I going with you? Oh, hell no. Bro, I didn't sign up for this. I was trying to get you some money. What, what are you doing? You got me out here in this hot Hey, what the fuck is going on here? Well, I thought you were in jail. Pablo used his influence. Now, George, watch what you say, okay? Everybody hears everything. What you mean, watch what I say? Bro, I didn't want to be here. I'm on parole. Look, that's Pablo. Hey man, you know, I, I got a cake in the oven. I gotta go, homie. El Padrino was Senor Pablo Escobar. He was it. The boss of it all. El Magico. Hey, that's old dude. Um He old boy from training day, ain't he? Informant. Si, honorato. He could have run, fled the country, gone to the policia, but then his wife, his children, his parents, his friends. 
many people will die. Why his fuck? Like, like, see, they killing friends and everything, bro. Like, what, what did I do? With all due respect, El Padroni, Diego is my partner. So I won't negotiate without him. I won't do business without him. Diego would have been out like a mom. You sure? I'm sure. This man talked about a lot of money, and I didn't watch him kill somebody already. The other up. And he's salty as fuck. We're going into business together. I want to start right away. Hey, I'm telling y'all, I went with Johnny Tapia. Blinded by the lights. Yeah, dog. They had a horse. They was cute to the plot. I seen them. I seen them. If you snorted cocaine in the late 1970s or early 80s, you see all that money? there was an 85% chance it came from us. What did he say? He said an 85% chance it came from real. Well, I don't give a shit. It's close enough. Where do I put it? Look at this money, man. You trying to tell me each one of those boxes is $3 million? Why are we still selling drugs? We're gonna need a bigger boat. I like the Jaws reference right there. For real. I, I got $30 million. Why am I still selling drugs? Hello. Shut the f up. That is Penelope Mother f Cruz. I know you. I don't think so. Look at her. Why are you smiling? Why are you smiling? I don't know. You a bad mother That's why I'm smiling. She's young. She's not my fiance, Mirta. Oh, God. You can do so much better than him, honey. I swear to you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your boost, though? One minute. You're dating a bum. I'm Boston George, girl. What is this mystery man? When we meet him? Never. George gives him a secret, even from his brother, huh? Ah, uh, George. Oh, he's a hater. He's a hater. I think that El Padroni's happy with the current situation, you know? I'll be back, excuse me. You go. Hey, man, playing a dangerous game, man. Say, girl, don't be playing with me like this. Breaking up a Colombian marriage was a serious thing. A lot of people were pissed off. Didn't matter. Yeah, no, no, no. I was untouchable. A uh, word? Oh, I'd have done it too then. Shoot or shoot. She could party like a man and love like a woman. Oh, she nasty, nasty. I would always be a gringo to the cocktail. Bertha could change all that with two choice words. I do. So do I. Listen. Rich and in love. First off, I don't care how bad or how in love I am with you. You're not whipping me with a whip. That's too close to slavery. I don't give a fuck what we doing. Second, my man grabbed her ass like it was huge. Knowing he had a handful of imagination, a whole handful of imagination. Put that shit away. You're pregnant, for Christ's sakes. Just put it away. My fucking parents are here. Oh, my. Beautiful. Listen. Oh, they about to have a crack, baby. <gasps> Look at this credenza. Why is she here? George mentioned a jacuzzi. I've always wanted a jacuzzi. Why is she there? You know, business has been pretty good. I got this little import-export thing. God, that's a big house. I got my investments. I got to... Uh... Don't bullshit me, George. That's a nice house. Same kid who would jump off a mountain if someone told him he couldn't do it. They are walking in unison. Have ya. Same steps. That is crazy. I don't like it. It's not what I would have chosen for you. But it's your life. It's got nothing to do with me. I don't care. Y'all probably think I'm crazy because I'm happy that his dad accepts him. But that's his kid. Like, if I had kids, I wouldn't want my kids to be selling drugs and shit. But 
if he gonna do it anyway, I'ma love him regardless. Like if Rama start killing people, you know, I just gotta accept it. I gotta kill a for a child. How long have you been in business? Three years? You don't take me to California, but you take your bitch wife. A woman. Oh, you call my wife a bitch? What do you need my connection for? What are you gonna do with it? Hey, bro, last word you speaking. You know you wouldn't be here for me? Fucking Christ, I ain't telling you, it's just business. Now shut up, you're driving me fucking crazy. Escobar didn't want you to be a part of this, bro. I did that. We had a dream. What happened to our dream? Johnny Tapia. You make me look very bad. So we try to do a deal, he doing this shit. Oh, shut the fuck up. Estoy bien, estoy bien, okay? Everything is alright, there's no problem. The fuck you mean there's a problem? Nice doing business with you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Vamos. Diego died tonight. Derek for real! Derek for real, Derek fucking for real, all right? Happy now? Bro, he about to f you over. You got shot, he didn't even say sorry. F this dude. Derek? Derek for real? Diego Delgado. Look at him. Never. Never. He done called my wife a bitch. He done got me shot. It would not be a third mistake. Matter of fact, that is the third mistake. You got me hemmed up, bro. I'm tying your ass up. I'm pulling the mustache off. Inch by fucking inch. He ain't third now. He doesn't want to fuck him over. And that's where Diego has his new home. He's doing multiple runs right now. What? And Jack Stevens is already a very busy man. See? See? It's nothing personal. I love you. This is business. Gotta go, George. Derek. He's dying too. I got loan money, bro. I don't care to put a hit on you. I'm in the drug game. I got Pablo as a backup, bro. I'm putting hits out on people. Murder whistle won't blood. Happy to see you, George, my brother. No more brothers, Diego. Why do you say that? The fuck you mean why I say that? Who introduced you to Pablo Escobar? Huh? Who protect you? And what do I get in return? This accusations. What? I kill Bill the right now. Yeah, give me that eyeball. Because you are out there. Oh, hello, hello, hello. And don't be so emotional, George. We are brothers. Ah! Next time it's fucking loaded. Uh -huh. What the fuck you mean? Next time it's out of hey. Bye. Bye. I give Diego props though. He still talked that shit with a gun to his head. Say hello to your pretty wife for me. Sure. Mm. I'm not just taking that asshole, but won't forget about it. The pettiness of me is too strong. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even show up there. I told you I'd have put a hit out on him. I got money. I'm the king of the booger sugar, bro. Do you know who you f***ing with? I'll burn down every one of the little um, Pee Wee Hermes buildings. Little beauty shop, burnt down. Little apartment, burnt down. I quit the business, I'm out. And it's not like burnt Hermes in them bitches, I'm trying to tell you. And I'm not going back. See? And there's nothing else. It's just us. I mean, that's cool and all, but I, I need payback. And I was out clean. Well, maybe I jumped the gun on clean. I'm gonna say, bro. Hey, 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 hey. I'm cold. Fucking coming, Jesus. Why you got a blow dryer for a baby? <laughs> oh, he about to die. Watching my baby girl being born did something to me. Look at him in the back. Look, look at him. I didn't believe in religion. Hell, I didn't even particularly like kids. He looked like the ball from Tales from the Crypt right there. Oh, Jack Skeleton ass looking motherfucker. Look at him. It's the greatest feeling I ever had, followed very abruptly by the worst feeling I ever had. He 
died 25 minutes ago. That cook just got his heart beating. He been dead for half an hour. I was averaging five grams a day, maybe more. I snorted 10 grams in 10 minutes once. I guess I had high tolerance. What the fuck he say? Thank you. Um, did this motherfucker say he snorted 10 grams in 10 minutes? Now, I ain't never done coke. But I ain't gonna say I ain't never been around no activities where it's been, not been there, you know what I'm saying? With the college, had, they had parties, you know? That's not possible. You can't do that. Betty, why would you do that? No drink, no nothing. Sober as a judge. I don't care, bro. He died in that hospital room. This, all this is just heaven. The next 37 minutes of him in heaven. This is his thoughts in heaven. Mirtha needed to have some fun. So on my 38th birthday, she threw a little party and invited some old friends. On site. Happy birthday, George. I snatched that perm out of his head. Look, I'm sorry about everything. Shut up. You were right. I did fuck you. And Diego fucked me. They didn't buy me dinner. Cut me out too. Oh yeah, I heard about it. That's what you get. Well, oh, fuck it. It's in the past. I ain't that forgiven. Let's have some fucking fun! Jesus, is that Martha? Yeah. She got a gravy boat of cocaine. Christ almighty, George. What does she weigh, 80 pounds? Give or take. That. She got a gravy boat of cocaine. Break! Oh, shut the f up. Why the feds decided to bust me on that particular night, I'll never know. Whatever it was, they were just waiting for me to slip up. And I did. Bro, you been good for what the f Oh, that's horrible. They was having a party while she was there? I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised she was doing coke with her while she was pregnant, so why not have a cocaine party with her in the house? None of the other guests had any idea it was there. You're right. My wife and my daughter are on a plane tonight. I signed this shit when I know that they're safe and sound. No fucking way. Well, fuck you. I mean, I'm not signing that and saying that all that was mine. Once again, I would become a fugitive on the run. Oh, George. Hey, he will. You don't know what on the run mean, bro. Never mind, your son is here. Tell him I don't want to see him. F her. Um. Don't you dare step foot in this house. You know my son, you hear me? Listen, I'll go piss on her lap. She's angry, George. It's been all over the news. She was cool when I had the money, though. You're not going to go to trial? No. So this is it? I hope not, Papa. Me too. It's Pop's been a good man this whole movie. I gotta go, Papa. See ya. You take care of yourself, George. Me too. It's crazy how this is a documentary about Johnny Depp's life, though. I am afraid that there is a problem, Mr. Young. What's the problem? The banks have gone through a change, a nationalization. Your funds are being appropriated by the Panamanian government. Oh, shut the f up. What up? Oh, so I'm broke now. What are we going to do? What do we spend? What? Oh, this is your fault. You threw the party. Just better do something. And she kind of like your mom. Is that Emma Roberts? That is Emma Roberts. Take it easy, there's a fucking cop back there, right behind us. Just fucking drive. This is your fucking problem. Oh, they had a drop top doing coke. Why don't you fuck me anymore? Take it easy. Why don't you fuck me anymore? Why don't you fuck me anymore? This is probably why I don't fuck you no more. He has a kid on his truck right now! <laughs> look, look. Oh, we got to kill her, too. Why are we talking to the door? We have nothing to 
face. I wish I would come out and talk to this bitch. I'm divorcing you, George. Bye. There is someone else. I don't think you care, but I wanted to tell you. It's okay. <laughs> About a week and a half, I'm going to find you, kill you, get my daughter back. This is your fault. Bye. Hello to your father. Go no. now. Say hello. Hello, sweetheart. I thought you couldn't live without your heart. It's your mama's fault. I hope she has a horrible death. Every single day in the joint, I thought of one thing. I needed to get my heart back. Bro, they ain't gonna let you get her back. You've been in jail this many times for drugs, bro. They ain't gonna let her get her back. Are you even supposed to be in my school zone? Hi, honey. What are you doing here? I wanted to let you know that I was out and I wanted to see you. How are you doing? Why'd you look at him like he's stink? George, you just can't show up like this. She called him George! What do you want from me, huh? Hey, man, that's a real low kid question right there. If you could go anywhere in the world, anywhere, where would you want to go? Hold on, so this little girl walk home by herself anyway? Things were starting to look up. Maybe California? Oh, you can go anywhere in the world. Still choose California? Yeah. Yeah? You are your daddy's child. Bye, Dad. See you in the morning. Okay, I'll be here. He's a good daddy. What do you want? Punch in your f***ing face. Truce. I don't want to fight with you anymore. But I will hit women. So I will call my sister up. She'll be here in 30 minutes. I haven't seen one dollar from you. You haven't paid me one cent. That's all she care about. You're just like his mom. Child support? Honey money? All right. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. No damn well that man can't get her job. George! Are you okay? Yeah. Hello? Derek. I need to do something. I want to put together a crew, huh? Know anybody? Shut the f up, dude. Go flip a burger. George? What do you say? Man, Georgie. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Shut the f up. Hey, man, this is my friend. I've known this guy for 30 years. Can you call each other friends now? I was thinking about getting out of town this week. Maybe California. You know I can't. Mom will never let me go. You let me take care of your mother. Is he about to kidnap this little girl? You can't kidnap no babies? I swear on my life, Scout's honor. I swear on my life. Ooh. Ooh. I swear on your life. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. We don't do that. Go get him, Billy. Ain't this how the movie opens? And being as how I'm feeling so fucking generous tonight, instead of 10%, you're gonna get 15. It's an extra 200 grand. That's right. Fuck it. Why don't they seem happy? Cheers. Is it you, Georgie? Cheers. This is set up, ain't it? I like them too, but what's done is done. So let's not get all sentimental about it, all right? Shut the f up, it's a setup. <laughs> Hey, Dooley, you know what I was thinking? Oh, bro, you can't catch a break. What's going on? <clears throat> what the fuck? What's up? You didn't feel that energy before you went to go piss? Where's my fucking knife? Oh, I see your math is laughing. No. Oh, this is so fucked up. Let's do it. I mean, that's so unnecessary. Set up by the FBI and the DEA. That didn't bother me. Sentenced to 60 years at Otisville. That didn't bother me. I'd broken a promise. Oh, man. Got your tape recorder. I thought, uh, you know, you might want to hear your voice. 
<laughs> That's so f***ed up, man. Hello, Dad. I thought you were the strongest man in the world. Remember those home movies when Mom would dress up like Loretta Young? I won't say nothing positive about her. And that time you told me the money wasn't real? I love his pops, man. May the wind always be at your back, and the sun always upon your face, and the winds of destiny to carry you aloft to dance with the stars. Hey, man. He loved his pop, man. I love you, Dad. Love, George. Him and his pop had a good bond. George. George, come on. We have a visitor. Is that his little girl? Damn, how long you been in there? God, you're so big. He looks rough. I swear. I swear, baby. Yeah, I always be his little girl. Good. Let's go. It's getting dark. Shut the fuck up. Come on, it's getting late. Come on, let's go. Oh, you're fucking bullshit. I want to put her on the list for tomorrow. It's my daughter. Okay, Judge. Shut the f up. Life passes most people by while they're making grand plans for it. That's the main line. Oh, that's f up. All right, so we just got finished watching Bluff. This is a very, 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 very good movie. And at the end of the day, it's kind of a sad movie. This movie teaches you a lot of things. There's no honor among thieves and crooks. Just because someone has their blood to you, blood in you, don't mean they're loyal to you. Hell, or even mean they love you. No matter how good you are to people, sometimes those people will still screw you over. All right, so, yeah, George was a drug dealer, okay? Despite the fact that he was a drug dealer and doing illegal stuff, George was good to his people all the way around. He had a lot of his old man in him. His old man was a good man. George watched out for everybody. When George had the idea to make more money because they're making middleman money, he took along Pee Wee Herman. You know what I'm saying? He like, he's our partner. I'll make sure he get a cut. Even when he bought the weed from the first dude, he said, I want all of it. And he had them in that duffel, those duffel bags. He told the man, I'll bring you 50000 Then just out the kindness of his heart, he brought him another twenty five. I know that was to, to, um pretty much to seal the connect deal. But still, they already had an agreement on what to bring him. He brought him an extra twenty five. He went out of his way to please his wife and try to make his daughter happy. His wife turned out to be a carbon copy of his mom, which, you know, in hindsight, he probably should have knew Penelope um, Cruz wasn't shit in the movie because she was engaged. And the first time she met him, she snuck off and was making out with herself. So, you know, every person that he looked out for, except for Tuna, and his pops fucked him over. And like, I know his daughter was upset, but somebody had to tell that had to tell them they somebody need to tell her that the reason why your daddy went to jail is because your mother's a train wreck. <laughs> your mom's also the reason why we got busted when we got busted. Because I was clean. I was chilling my my business. But then your mama want to throw a party with all the drug people and then have a gravy boat full of cocaine. You know, the house looked like the Booker Sugar Express. Like, what are you doing? I can understand it from her perspective because she only got one side of the story. He just couldn't catch a break. Like I said, I know he was doing wrong. I know he was doing wrong. I know overall he was a drug dealer. But he had a good heart. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me because I enjoy watching with y'all. 
Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.